एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो सो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डन कॉशन इंटीग्रल फार्मूला विच वॉज यूज टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ जेड एट एनी पॉइंट ए इन साइड द क्लोज कर्व सी नाउ इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द टेलर सीरीज हाई आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अप्लाइड मैथमेटिक्स डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी डेली For more detail of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschand Publishing. Details of which is given here, and link is given in the description box. So before Taylor series, we must know what a par series is. So a par series is of the form a par series is of the form. Sigma a n z minus z naught raised to the power n, where n is from zero to infinity. And if we expand this, then it can be written as a naught plus a one z minus z naught plus so on so forth. The nth term will be written as z minus z naught raised to the power n, and it goes till infinity. That is why it is called as Uh, in finite series so this is called as the par series because the powers of the z minus z not keep on increasing now uh, this is uh, true for mod of z minus z not less than equals to r so here the z not is said to be the center of the circle center and if mod of z minus z not is less than equal to uh, less than r then this r will be called as then this r will be called as the radius of convergence radius of convergence that is this par series will be convergent in this radius when the radius will be more uh, less than r and it will be centered at z not so we can uh, always we always we know that z minus z not is said to be, this is this point is z not and this distance is r so this is mod of z minus z not is equals to r and if we are considering only inside this circle then only we will say that it is strictly less than and if it is equal to then it is on the boundary also so inside when when this radius is r then this par series is said to be convergent in this so now if it is uh, if the par series is convergent for all z for all uh, z then r is said to be uh, called as the infinity uh, that is radius of convergence will be infinity now this r can be calculated as limit of an over an plus 1 that is two consecutive term where n will be tending to infinity so if we find out this limit and if the limit exists then we can find out this radius of convergence now this radius of convergence is very important because then only we will be uh, we will come to know that where the function is said to be where the par series is said to be convergent because this par series is a representation of a function which will be analytic within this curve c and since it is analytic so therefore we will be representing it in the form of a par series so it represent a it represent a analytic function analytic function in this z minus z not is equals to less than r so then uh, we can say that if a function is analytic then it can be represented in form of a par series when we have uh, learned about par series then let us come to the taylor series the taylor series so if a function is analytic 
if a function is analytic inside a closed curve C, inside a closed curve C, then it can be represented as fz equals to fa z minus a f dash a plus z minus a square f double dash a and so on so forth and the nth term can be represented as z minus a raised to the power n divided by factorial n nth factorial of fz at z equals to a this is n so it can be written as summation of f nth factorial a z minus z naught uh, uh, and here we are taking z naught as a so we will be replacing it with a z minus a raised to the power n divided by n factorial n is from 0 to infinity where uh, this uh, 0 factorial has been taken as 1. So, this is called the Taylor series expansion of any function fz which is analytic inside a close inside this curve c. So, then it can be uh, expanded using Taylor series. So, we can find out the function we can find out the Taylor series expansion for any function which is analytic. So, we will take one example to make it more clear. So, expand ln 1 plus z using Taylor series. Using Taylor series. So, we know that the function is analytic. Therefore, we will start the Taylor series expansion for that. So, for this fz is ln 1 plus z. This is natural log. Uh, we need to find out the center about which we need to expand this. So, about, about z equals to 0. Suppose we would like to find out about z equals to 0. Then we need to find out the value of the function at 0. So, ln 1 plus 0. So, it is coming out to be 0. Then we will find out the first order derivative of this which is coming out to be 1 plus z and we will find out the value of the function at the point about which we would like to find out the expansion. So, f dash 0 is coming out to be 1. Then f double dash z we can find out this as minus 1 plus z raised to the power minus 2 and therefore f double dash 0 is coming out to be minus 1 and so on so forth. So, we can find out the nth order derivative of this. So, it is coming out to be minus 1 raised to the power n plus 1. So, we can write it from here and then 1 plus z and write down from here minus n. So, similarly, we can find out the value of the function uh, for the nth derivative at z equals to 0, which is coming out to be minus 1, minus 1 raised to the power n plus 1. So, we will substitute this in the uh, expansion for Taylor series. So, Taylor series expansion for fz, where fz is natural log 1 plus z, will be written as f0. So, it is 0 plus z minus 0 into f dash 0. So, 1 into z minus 1 into plus minus 1 into z square by factorial 2. So, z square by factorial 2 and so on and so forth. So, here it will be n also because when we will be doing f triple dash, so this minus 2 will come. So, here n factor n will also be there. So, so on and so forth. So, here because of the minus of this f double dash 0 this this will be minus. So, that is how we can find out the expansion of the function which is analytic inside the curve given given curve c. We can find out the Taylor series expansion. So, any uh, function which is analytic can be expanded using Taylor series 
and uh, it is very important in approximation also because uh, if we are able to find out the Taylor series expansion then we can also find out the value of the function at any point A which is lying inside the curve C. So uh, that's all about Taylor series and uh, for the second part of the video. So I'm sure you must have liked the video. For more details, you can refer to the book from Eshchand Publishing. Details are given on this side. Link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.